Yo, what is going on YouTube? Jay here today with another lithium phosphate battery for a golf cart. This one is made by Lam Nori. This is a lithium phosphate battery and as we know these are great for golf carts as they are lighter, maintenance free and they also don't occupy as much space as lead acids do. This one also comes with a 4000 plus cycle life. It has a 200 amp continuous BMS. It charges in about 5 hours with a 20 amp charger that comes inside. It has a 10 year technical support and a grade A EVE cells is what they call it with a maximum range between 30 and 50 miles. This one also comes with a smart battery LCD. And you're gonna be seeing that here in just a second. It was delivered by UPS, so no damages on the box. They have a very similar packing to the Vatur that I had not too long ago. So right here we have things like the manuals. So let's go ahead and check on the charger real quick. So this one is not a 20, like the one we had before. This one is in fact a little bit stronger, which is cool. I don't know if you guys can see that right here, but it is a 22 amp charger. We have the display, which already seems to have a similar bracket to the other one. And as you guys can tell, these look to be pretty generic. Uh, inside here, we have the hardware, as I mentioned earlier, and that's pretty much it. And on here we have the terminals. As you can tell, we have the positive terminal, which is almost identical to the previous battery, with the exception that we have these really hardcore covers. And so, yes, it comes also with the screws already, so you can hook up the terminals. Then this is for the Bluetooth antenna. We have the monitor plug right here. This is for vent. And we have the negative terminal as well, which comes with the screw or the bolt to mount the terminals. Uh, what I like about these batteries, specifically the 105 amp hours, is that they have the mounts welded into the case so that it makes it easier to mount it on the golf cart. So guys, now that we have all this information, let's hook it up on the cart and see how everything functions. I'm looking forward to that display because I believe it has slightly different user interface from other brands. And believe me, if you can get some help, it makes it slightly better. Now we grab three of these super duty zip ties. And unfortunately, the ones sold at Home Depot are not the longest. So we have to add about three of them together, like so, so that we are able to go around the frame As per the display, this time, instead of using the self-drilling screws as we did with the other battery, we decided to use a actual screw and a, or bolt and a nut. And these are uh, self-locking nuts, as you can tell. And now it feels a lot firmer. So that's for the display. And then we ran the wire here towards the back side of it. And all we lost, it was just one cup holder, but we still have three more. And we already ran the wire underneath the card, we zip tied it to the frame, and now it's inside the battery compartment, and that's going to be for your smart display. And this is how it should look like once you have everything installed properly. Now we can peel off the film protecting the screen. Okay, so now with these screws off of the terminals, these are size number 14, we have to connect everything that goes on the positive and everything that goes on the negative. So in this case, the converter side which has a positive that goes in first the second will be the positive for the charger okay and then lastly which is the one that will get connected directly into the positive terminal is going to be the controller positive wire so that's going to be the red so now that we got all the reds on here let's go ahead and get them connected don't forget to put the cart on tow mode if it's not on tow mode and second, don't turn on the battery until you have completed these installations. Very important that you guys follow directions. That way you don't short anything out. Now with this battery, for the terminal covers, uh, the opening side is towards the bottom. So make sure that all of your wires 
are facing down like so and then grab a 14 millimeter socket and make sure that it is sufficiently tight so now guys we got the wiring all completed we should be all good to start the cart and see if we get power on here i think we just did let me test the lights and yes if you guys can hear this we got power already that's the horn of the cart so everything should be good to go uh, this is your connection for the charger and that's it much 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 later installation has been completed and approximately two weeks have gone by after that last clip that i showed the connections of the battery and it has been great guys i mean this battery has been just like many others that i've tested in the same category which is 51.2 volts 105 amp hours it has done tremendously great so on that behalf i have zero complaints about the land nori and i think the price is quite uh, great as well i mean uh, it is a slightly less than most competitors out there the last time i checked uh, there is an application available for it as well now keep in mind that only basic information is given here like the cells it tells you the voltage it tells you the temperature so on and so forth and even the battery percentage but when you try to go to parameters um, and also BMS configurations it asks for a passcode I tried contacting uh, Len Nori and they said that this is only for technician use and not for consumer use so they said that unfortunately they cannot provide the password for it typically I get about 32 35 miles but with this one and the Navitas controller, which I have on this card with the stock motor, I am getting approximately 28 miles in range. That's between riding it hard and average speeds, which is about 15 miles an hour. The maximum I can do with this golf cart is approximately 27 miles an hour. Before we go on with that ride, if you guys look, this user interface is a little bit different to what I'm used to, uh, comparing it to the Vager and the um, Mosasaur and many other uh, batteries that I've tested. This one here gives you a very nice little battery logo. Then it has this kind of like analog looking meter here for your amps. Uh, it is a touch screen, but it's more like a resistive type of touch screen. You have to kind of like touch it with your nails and it works a little bit better. Uh, so here we have the little toggles for the discharge and charge. And then the third page here, uh, again gives you the individual cells uh, status and a voltage as well and that's pretty much it always keep in mind guys that it is a great idea to place the battery on the passenger side as I explained just to offset the weight a little bit from when you're riding alone as I said I've been using it for two weeks and I did add the rear seat for the kids so that when I carry them around, they can be a little bit more comfortable. When I had the Yamaha G29, they were sitting on the rear bumper area. And obviously that was unsafe uh, to, to start with. And second, they were not as comfortable. So when I got this Yamaha G22, which I got it for around $500. So I decided to add the rear seats and the reason I'm bringing this up is because, well, I tested the battery with weight. And of course, when the motor is on a little bit more stress with weight, the battery does get compromised a little bit. So in total, I got, like I said before, 28 miles. That's quite decent for a battery of this size. I'm getting sufficient power. See if I hit the throttle. Right now, it's sucking 81, 86 amps. And this battery in particular has the uh, ability uh, to do a maximum of 200 amps and a peak of 400 amps. And in case I forgot to mention it, it has over 4,000 plus cycles uh, for charging. So that's a long time. And this company is offering a 10 year support. That's a long time guys, 10 years. So that's the cool part about having lithium batteries. We know that already zero maintenance battery also it has uh, temperature sensors which means that if it gets too cold it automatically shuts off and if it gets too hot 
it would do just the same. So right here, we're gonna step on the throttle a little bit. I don't have a, an actual speedometer uh, here, but you guys have seen this cart on other videos, doing about 25, 26 miles an hour. And right now we are sucking, as I call it, about 81 amps. And this thing is just doing fantastic, guys. I love this Navitas controller. I think it woke up the cart quite a bunch. And even though this is not going to be a range test, because of time consumptions, it takes a long time to do that, guys. When I do these testing, sometimes they take me like three or four days to actually get that far. And most people out there, the first thing they do after a day of riding a golf cart is charge it, you know? So what I'm trying to say is that uh, you won't have that um, anxiety of thinking that it will deplete fast. This battery will not deplete and leave you stranded unless you're doing extreme distances. So overall guys, if I have to give it a rating from one through 10, I would give this one a solid nine. It doesn't get a 10 out of a 10 because of the fact that the app didn't allow for modifications. Sometimes you can balance the cells you can do many things and this is not letting you do any of that it says that you have to be a technician in order to do it uh, which is limiting uh, you know certain things you can do with the app and i think that as a consumer i should have the right to do that but um, that's not available right now on the app i mean it is available but i just don't have the passcode maybe there are uh, hacks you can do in regards to that but that's another great aspect about this battery is that it is uh, waterproof, first of all, and it has a BMS, a Bluetooth BMS, which uh, helps you deplete the battery evenly. And that's really, really cool, guys. So this cart, I uh, just added a new front end. It feels a lot smoother now. It's not as jumpy as before. I put new wheel bearings. I put a new rack and pinion and tie rods as well and now it is running great. Um, fortunately in Florida, we don't have hills, at least in this area where I live. We don't have any hills whatsoever, and it is quite far to take it to the park. Um, but I'm more than confident that if you have an Avitas controller and um, you're not exceeding the amperage that the battery is capable of doing, then you should be fine climbing hills. Well guys, that's going to wrap it up here for this video of the Lam Nori battery, 105 amp hours. It is an excellent battery at a very good price. It is around $1,300. The only thing I don't have is the onboard charger on here. I decided to leave it off just because it makes it easier for when I'm trying other batteries. I don't have to, you know, dismantle so much and eventually it's going to have a permanent battery but I have other batteries coming soon, so stay tuned to the channel. And like I said, guys, overall, great battery. It is to be expected. If you have any questions, just leave your comments below. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, comment, and share. And I'll see you guys on my next one.